Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel, Smith X Custom Baits. Um, you can come visit us at scbaits.com, right back there. Um, it's Rick Smith X, again. I know I said I was going to quit doing that a long time ago, but I haven't. Uh, today we're going to be making a, a Bloodline Swim Bait and the Bluegill Flash, just like we talked about before. Uh, the last couple of weeks I said we'd be doing this. Um, plastic salt is almost ready here. That's pretty good. That's pretty hot. Um, we have the molds ready. Really, the only thing different I've done here, I'll let this sit in there for just a second here to let some air bubbles rise. Um, really, the only thing different that we're doing as far as the plastisol from last week is the the bluegill portion of it, which would be the top half of these of these baits, um, doesn't have any blue glitter in it. The blue glitter. Is represent, is, the glue is now represented by the blue bloodline, which, right here. And I already have the eyes already in, in both halves of the mold. So uh, we have our, have our uh, hook slot piece in there. I'm going to go ahead and close these up, or close this up. I shot that bloodline earlier, um, put it in there. The bloodline mold makes 40 bloodlines at a time. I could shoot five, I could line up five of these molds at a time and have enough bloodlines just for one shot on that, on that bloodline mold. All right, that's ready. Okay, that's ready. This is ready. All right. And if you notice on my twin injector, I have taken the connecting bar off because we're going to be shooting. As we shoot, I'm going to try to push just slightly more on the on the white pearl side to fill that belly quicker so we don't uh, so we don't end up with crappy laminates. All right, let's see how's this doing there. The air bubbles look pretty good in that. We're temperature wise, we're pretty good there. Let's go ahead and set that here. Let's check the flash part, the white pearl. Oh, we need to bring the temperature up on that just a little bit. Yeah, it's a, that has the pearl powder in it, so it's thicker. Uh, the the plastisol is thicker anyways to start with, just because it has a powder mixed in with it, as opposed to just a, a liquid colorant. Uh, <clears throat> so we have to bring this temperature up so it'll flow a little better. All right, we're just about there. I think. Let's check this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's much better. And it's kind of funny how after you do this for a while, you can kind of start to tell when it's ready just by just by stirring. You can you can feel the viscosity difference. Um, let's go ahead and do this. All right. Oh, there must be a. First one. The second one here. Well, see how all these turn out here. I haven't used this injector like this but just a couple of times. Okay, we've got just a little bit of, uh, of the, the bluegill in this cup, which is okay, we'll just scrape it off like that and toss it later. Alright, 
we just have just a minute or so here to wait for that to cool off. Um, these are the eyes that we use today. These are the Spike It Outdoors Lure Work stuff. These are uh, the silver holographic with the black pupils. Gonna need to order some more of those pretty soon. But that's what we use for eyes today. Um, you can use whatever eyes you want, really. Um, just make sure they fit the mold, that's all. His mouth is pretty warm. <laughs> When you're shooting pretty slow like this, you end up with some pretty, some pretty good, pretty good sized plugs there. All right. All right. I think we can probably go ahead and open up that mold now. There we go. Let's see how these things turned out. Hopefully, they turn out fantastic. Now, if they turn out too poor, if they turn out too poorly, you might have to reshoot the video. Get off me. There you go. Alright. There we go. Something stuck in the mold there. Oh wow, these turned out. Break those apart there. Screws off. Every one of them laminated pretty nice. The uh, this last one, we didn't get quite as much of the bluegill in there as I would have liked. Um, but this one here, this one here is probably just about per pretty close to perfect. We did get a little bit of the of the bluegill portion down in the flash part, but that's kind of the nature of the beast a little bit here with the, with, with with these molds um any, anytime you have this uh the big belly on the swim baits like that but other than that i'd say they turned out pretty darn nice these are going to be some nice baits in my tackle box <laughs> all right everybody well if you liked what you saw today hit the subscribe button hit the like button and share because why? Why do we share? Because our moms told us to share. Our moms taught us that. Okay, share with everybody. If you have comments, want to uh, want to know anything else about how to, how to make these um, specific questions, whatever, uh, go ahead and ask. Uh, if you have uh, ideas for stuff you'd like to see, go ahead and put that down there too. Um, whatever, we'll answer you. So uh, until next time, tight lines and calm waters. <laughs>